Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really nice video for you today where I'm going to be teaching you the only way you can be trading Bitcoin. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to be telling you the only way that really you have to be trading Bitcoin. OK, actually, the asset is irrelevant, whether this is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Shiba coin, Link, Cardano, Dot, Cosmos, Litecoin, the asset is totally irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant because it's the system that we are using that is the exact same. OK, that's what I'm going to be covering in today's video. I am going to be using an altcoin as an example. Whether you trade this altcoin or not, again, is irrelevant. Even if you are purely a Bitcoin trader or whatever trader, it's irrelevant. The thing that you need to be understanding is the take away message. OK, so as always, all I ask for is your full attention, your full attention, a smile on your face, because when you believe in something and you are positive, it's always helpful. OK, so approach this video with an open mind, a happy face and uh, some good ears or reading skills, uh, if the subtitles are turned on, I suppose, of understanding what I want to teach you today. And that is why we trade the charts. OK, so, um, you know, I had a few different altcoins that I was debating to cover today and I thought, actually, um, I want to cover Phantom. Why? Because this one had the absolute best example of trade the charts at Northern News that we're going to have. OK, it's just it's been absolutely perfect, to be honest with you. And um, yes, I do think in tomorrow's video, I will come back to Bitcoin and I'll cover Bitcoin. So uh, today's video, I just want to cover Phantom and, and emphasize, you know, the trading style that we are doing every single day. And, you know, I mean, even right now on Bitcoin, it's really emphasized because you're seeing these like news articles fly around left, right and center. One day it's something bullish, one day it's something bearish. It's just like, oh man, if you try and trade off of this, you're just going to lose so much money, so much money. New, news articles are late to everything, late to every single move. The only way you can be ahead of the curve, get the move before the news article comes out is purely by technical analysis. That I always, always will stand by. So let's begin today's video talking about phantom ftm this is an interesting one so obviously phantom had a very 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 big run up you know we saw it run up from you know a matter of cents to you know up to three dollars fifty hitting around that all-time high back in know, only a few months ago now back in uh end of october uh not actually that long ago at all we were hitting an all-time high on phantom OK, and what happened? What was happening around this date of the 27th of October? So you can see the actual all time high put in on the 28th of October. What was happening around here? Why was there so much hype around it? Everywhere you look, you know, surprise, surprise, every big channel starts shilling Phantom up at around three dollars. Why? Oh, because there was a, apparently a very bullish bit of news about Phantom. I obviously heard this second hand by somebody that follows uh, the fundamentals inside of the group. And, uh, you know, they started to try and, you know, get people bullish about this because what was happening? You know, apparently there was some sort of tweets inside tweets from from uh, Elon Musk talking about Phantom, uh, the opera inside your mind. And then Phantom have this like release thing on the 28th or 27th of October. You know, people are going pretty crazy for this. Uh, you see here, like people trying to hint at what's going on. Apparently, it's going to be used inside Tesla cars. All this sort of stuff, Phantom IBM and Tesla coming together. Like, yeah, it was peak euphoric time. <laughs> peak euphoric times. We have people, try, you know, hoping. This is what we call hopium. People just hoping for the best. You know, they're here buying three, $3 dollars phantom extremely overpriced after a thousands of percent run up you know and they're trying to inject that hopium even further thinking hey yeah yeah buying three dollars phantom is a good idea um you know eg the fundamental guys are going absolutely crazy buying this in the millions my only reply the one and only reply i had to this was man i, I cannot wait to short this coin you know, it's the same cycle again. I remember doing this with Cardano, probably the most notorious one of recent times, Cardano. Cardano extremely, extremely hyped up. The only thing I wanted to do was look for the short. We, you know, we're talking now about a few months ago when it was hitting the major CC, but it's the same story, yeah? Extremely hyped coin, too overbought. And, you know, the only thing I'm looking for at that time is, is short positions. 
And the same for fans. And the only thing that I thought to myself was, I, I want to short this. Yeah, I really want to short this. Uh, of course, the fundamental people are coming at me saying, hey, you're going to lose money. I'm thinking, OK, let, let's place our bets. <laughs> Somebody actually went straight in on that short, by the way, as soon as I posted it. Getting in that short of $3.20, which was basically the all-time high, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but anyway, the, the story unfolds. I want to show you here how we could, how we have timed, actually timed the highs here. OK, based off of the charts, OK, starting off with the original short position, I suppose. And that is we obviously put in our all time high. OK, you can actually see the all time high being put in here on the 28th of October. E.g. this is like the date of the announcement of all this mm, apparently bullish news. OK, so this is when people are starting to go a bit crazy about it. And then we get our first retracement. I did not partake in trying to short the all time high because, you know, the thing with trading probabilities, maybe that bullish news was really bullish and un although unlikely in my opinion, probably could have shut up. I didn't want to try and time the all-time high. You know, I'm not a gambler. I'm going to trade the highest probability trades. Okay, what happens is we actually got our full-blown rejection on the 20. 8th of October, we swing failure pattern the high and we actually change our lower term time frame market structure. OK, so if you look down here on like the four hour chart, we get a four hour trend change and then we get a weak rally. And it's no surprise really where we get our weak rally to. We get our weak rally to the CC. So Fibonacci taken from the high down to the low of that move. OK, this is obviously on the daily time frame, but we come up into the CC. We come back up to at the time we obviously had our harmonic going on here. And, you know, now we have obviously the brilliant top of the channel. So we had like three strong confluences. If you add in the fourth confluence of, you know, this is what I call like a light confluence, but it's a confluence. Nevertheless, the fourth confluence being uh, that the coin is extremely overbought, it's extremely overhyped, and this is the weak rally to basically, you know, it's kind of like the fake out rally, so to speak, before a major drop. And, you know, you have to be really, really, really confident in your trades at this time because you have to remember you are by far against the majority, yeah? 95% are screaming for the moon, 95% are screaming, hey, this is the rally, you know, the last move was a shakeout, hope you bought the dip, all this stuff, you know, you're still seeing the news articles getting pumped out, everybody just screaming, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, you know, Phantom's going to the move, don't miss out, if you only lose when you sell, all this sort of rubbish that people shout, um, you know, you have to, you have to have confidence, yeah, because otherwise you're not going to take that trade period. You're not going to take that trade. OK, personally, I did have confidence to take the, the short. Why? Because I have a very well-defined stop loss and I have a very well-defined idea that this is going to go lower. OK, I was ready awaiting to short Phantom. All I wanted was an entry trigger. Well, it took about 10 days, but 10 days later, I got the entry trigger. OK, and from here, we can actually start to see how this progresses. OK, based off of our technical analysis. So, from entering a short position, where do we think a sensible target is? Well, I think a sensible target, if we look here on the chart, obviously it hasn't held, hasn't held, but this is another important takeaway topic of taking profits, I suppose. But we can see a very sensible area where we could think to ourselves, this is going to bounce. Look at this. Resistance here flips into support. OK, so we have a resistance support support flip with taking the last lows here. OK, so we have a potential swing failure pattern on a high term time frame resistance support flip. And the bread and butter show me the money trade is the Fibonacci taken from the low to the all time high. And you can see that comes in exactly on the CC, which is exactly on the low of the channel there. OK, so we're talking about major confluences here, aren't we? And you know, it obviously has bounced. It did bounce, okay? And in the, the percentage of that bounce, by the way, from that low to that high is 47%. 47% in, in a week, yeah? 47% bounce in a week. And so obviously, yes, very, very nice bounce indeed. And where, where did we reject? Well, this is, the, this is the lovely thing about it. Take your CC then from that high, that obviously was the original short position. This is the thing, if you missed that original short, you're granted another short, off of the top of the channel and Fibonacci from the high to that low, we can see we come straight into the CC once more. OK, so now we have had our original short trade taken from our confluences. It's come back down to our SR flip. It's had a 
you know, 40% bounce in one week, and we've come then back up into our resistance, okay? If you look at the time, you're obviously coming back into your POCs, you're coming back into high volume regions, and you're obviously coming into the high of the channel, into, into the CC once again. You can look for compounds on those short positions. Takeaway message is obviously, if you get extremely bullish at the lows, and I'm not going to lie, of course, this is a good bounce, just as you've had a good bounce here, by the way. But the thing is, 40% bounce, imagine you don't take profit, yeah? If you don't take profit, a massive winning trade turns to a losing trade taking profit, moving stop loss up to entry, you know, moving stop loss up to profit slash entry. When you've seen such a move is, is an absolute must. If you fall into the category of, oh, I'm not going to take profits because it's just going to go higher or, oh, I don't want to take profits because, you know, if it goes higher, then I could have made even more money. No, this is just the wrong way to think, period. Yeah, the wrong way to think, period. The only way you can be thinking is, I've just banked so much. I've just banked some money. Let's at least take some profits on this. If it continues up, I can add on more. I can compound. If we reject really simply at the top of our channel, we've rejected at the top of our channel and I could look to buy much, much lower. E.g. we can start to hedge here with short positions, take profit on the longs. The worst thing that we can do is just hope for the best and hope for the moon, uh, you know, because that's just, just not a trading strategy. It just doesn't work. Again, obviously, we em I emphasized here in my group when we when we hit the next low, by the way, of, you know, at the time, that was a 30% move to the downside. And it just goes to show you that, you know, don't trade the tech, you know, don't don't trade the fundamentals. Yeah, do not trade the number one example of why we trade the charts over the fundamental news. Do not trade for this. Yeah, you, you know, sorry to use the guy as an example, but really simply you could see it left right and center everybody that was after this news pump lost lots of money and they were the, yeah, just kind of like be careful um and that obviously brings us down to then our latest move to the downside if i just remove this cc a second and i will then now uh explain what what you know what, what happened on this last bounce well you can actually see we, we hit the bottom of that channel i just mean this this channel has been extremely well respected if you look at here on the four hour we're going from low to the high to the low to the high, to the low, like this is such a perfect channel, let's be honest. And this bounce was 50%, 50 by the way. This is a crazy, crazy big bounce. If I show you this on the one hour chart, from the low of that wick up to the middle of the channel, 51% bounce. 51% bounce in 60, well, just, just about one day. Uh, one day, just over 50% bounce. And we'll look at where we rejected. I mean, you couldn't make this up. We rejected from the middle of the channel. Uh, I want to talk about Bitcoin. Uh, I mean... I've removed the analysis. I'll, I'll talk about Bitcoin tomorrow, but the Bitcoin is in the exact same thing. The middle of these channels are extremely good trades, yeah? Uh, Bitcoin for tomorrow, let's save that. But um, yeah, just, I mean, you, you couldn't make up. The accuracy is insanely amazing. And we hit the middle of the channel. Where did we come back down to? We're coming back down from uh, to our CC from low to high. We get a secondary bounce. And then we get obviously into the price action, which I want to talk you through now. <sighs> I mean, for me, this is exciting. Uh, I just want to talk about two really, really quick announcements. It's going to take me no more than 30 seconds. First announcement, number one, is that last night, obviously, Igor done his, oh, absolutely outstanding, shout out to the legend, CCTR strategy, which is a brand new strategy. You will never, ever have seen this before anywhere. Brand new strategy made by Igor, absolutely outstanding, amazing. Hit my hat off to him. And uh, yeah, that's obviously been released on the website if you want to watch it. Lots of people absolutely loving that. And as I replied to this guy, all the live streams can be watched back via our website. It's basically like Netflix, where you can watch them back whenever you want. So if you miss that live stream, go and watch it right now because absolutely amazing. That's for the contenders and the champions. Oh, la la la. You're going to absolutely love it and you're going to learn a lot. And the second announcement is, of course, it's a Thursday today and every Tuesday and Thursday we release an absolute free community post. So do yourself a favor after this video and come over to the community tab on our YouTube page. To get to that, you just literally click on our YouTube channel and then click on the community tab and then you will be able to read our new post of today, which is follow the CC pool to star. A very interesting post to say the least. Our last post was absolutely loved. Uh, hit a record number of 418 likes on a community post. That's pretty amazing for us. So yeah, thank you for the support. And I, you know, I could tell by the comments, you're loving these posts. So uh, yeah, we're obviously happy, more than happy to bring you them. Uh, so yeah, that's obviously free. You can go check that out on the community tab. That was more than 30 seconds, but <laughs> let's get back to the analysis. Those are the two announcements that I wanted to make. Eagle, you're amazing.
so moving on to what's happening now then on 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 phantom okay so when we zoom down here on a lower term time frame we can see the respect still that the middle of this channel has had and, and what's actually the pattern that's forming and i do think that patterns are more well respected on the old altcoins to be honest with you obviously we do have to take into consideration ftm btc pair okay obviously i personally I'm still in a, you know, that short from just about $3.10 sats, which was, you know, taken off of that CC, uh, you know, extreme profits on this. Obviously, I'm still getting paid funding on this. I have no reason to close this short at all. It's like on Bitcoin. I still hold shorts from $69,000. Still hold shorts from $58,000. Why? Because they're, they're paying me funding. I'm in a no risk situation. Just hold these shorts like they're, yeah. EG, I'm still holding that short position on Phantom, but I am ready. I am ready to close this one, to be honest with you. Uh, if we can see an absolute, you know, a definitive break of this triangle, which I kind of envision for me, because if we break this, we should be moving back up to about $1.80. You know, we're currently at $1.50. It's a big move. Uh, but I'm looking at this, obviously, making currently lower highs. Okay. I'm making, looking at this, making lower highs, and I'm envisioning maybe we can get this sort of triangle. Okay. Well, we've obviously put a, maybe we get this A, B, C, D, E type triangle, symmetrical triangle. We obviously could still be working on this a little bit lower. It's kind of, we need to see a definitive break either of the highs here or of the lows, but we still have the CC from this low to this high. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that this can make a little bit of a new low, but basically breaking the high of this with some strength. We don't want to just see a break, of, you know, a fake out. We actually want to see some pretty decent volume coming into this keeping our eyes on phantom btc pair keeping our eyes on bitcoin because obviously trading the tether pair those two co those two pairs are absolutely you know absolutely vital to be aware of but currently we have a fit you know we actually have a really nice triangle forming here uh breaking this triangle with some strength if we see some strength in the btc pair as well as bitcoin uh, without a doubt we should be hitting one dollar one dollar i would be looking for one dollar ninety OK, personally, because then we start to come back into our more more of our order blocks, SR flips, and obviously, depending on the time taking the top of this channel. So we're really looking $1.90 to back to $2. Obviously, if this breaks to the downside, well, it's very likely that we're going to come down and fill these type of wicks, uh, you know, heading back down towards $1. E.g., if that's the case, if this breaks to the downside, yeah, I might scan occasionally for long opportunities on this, but I'd be more than happy to just hold my shorts, collect funding every single day, every eight hours, three times a day, get paid funding, make money with absolutely no work. That's what you call passive income. I'm making a lot of money off of the actual short position as well as added money from funding three times a day. I mean, this is a gold mine. This is a gold mine. If you understand funding, if you understand hedging, like it's, it, it's free money period, if you understand that. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm in no rush to close these shorts. The only way I would do it is if on, on a massive sign of strength, I might even class that above $2, to be honest with you. I'm in no rush to close this. Um, yeah, I'm really not in a rush. So if I see a big sign of strength, of course I'll close it, though, because I'm not just going to like hold it forever. It's just as with longs. Yeah, this is a 50% bounce to the upside. It was a pretty, pretty nice scope. Same as this one, to be fair, was maybe even classes even easier. But nevertheless, it's like, you get into nice positions you don't hold them forever like on the last on the last one we hit the bottom of that channel perfectly to the top of the channel um you know you don't hold on to these longs forever it's like take profit trade what's happening trade the charts it doesn't matter what anybody is saying it doesn't matter what the news is saying the news is irrelevant everything is irrelevant apart from the charts in front of you and i hope i can prove it to you because i prove it to you every single time i make a video it's like you got to believe because it's it's just in front of you. The evidence is here every day. Like trading these charts are amazing. They're, trading the charts are amazing. The technicals are the only way to trade. So take away points from this video. Who cares about the news? Who cares? I mean, I even to give you examples back from the coronavirus drop. Uh, or obviously, the big coronavirus drop back in March 2020. We were short on Bitcoin because Bitcoin had a bearish pan. Of course, Black Swan event and all that. Yes, of course, it helped the shorts. But we were originally in those short positions, not because of coronavirus, but because there was a technical short on Bitcoin. And I, and I digress. Like, everything is in the charts before it happens. Like, period. I don't care what anybody says. Um, yeah. So, EG, ignore the news. The only thing you need to do is trade <laughs> the technicals. They're extremely well respected. Don't hold on to something forever. Take profits. Move stop loss to entry. And just get ready then for the next trade. Make a plan. Trade the plan, period. It's as easy, it really can be as simple as that. You have to have the theory behind you. You have to have to, you really have to know what you're doing. If you, 
oh man, I could talk about this for another 10 minutes. I, I don't think I'm going to do it because I don't want this. How long is this video? Yeah, yeah, 20 minutes. It's reaching too long. I could talk about this if you want to. You can leave a comment down below and say, Dan, you'll talk, talk about it for another 10 minutes. And I'll talk about it tomorrow at the end of the video because I do think it's an important topic, but this one's gone on too long already. So I'm just going to say, I, I truly hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, of course, you can always show your appreciation by hitting that like button, copying the link, sharing this link around with your friends, with your family, because I honestly know for a fact that this video can help them. Uh, so if you're feeling spirit, if you're feeling, I was going to say, if you're feeling spirit, well, if you are feeling spirit, if you're feeling kind, if you're feeling the Christmas spirit, uh, you know, Help us out, give a like, give a share to the video, help somebody. And uh, yeah, that's all I will say. I hope you've truly enjoyed this video. I have, as always, enjoyed making it because I just love, I just absolutely love talking about trading. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. I hope you are too. And of course, I'm going to end with the non-financial advice. At the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a trader. I'm just a trader that loves to come on here and share what I know. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And uh, I'm just going to say thank you. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.